homework help with Jen and we're doing chapter 4, this is problem 73. It says a 25 milliliter sample of hydrochloric acid solution requires 24.16 milliliters of 0 0.106 molar sodium hydroxide for complete neutralization. What is the concentration of the original hydrochloric acid solution? All right, so this is a titration, just like the titration that we did in class. In fact, we did HCl and NaOH is one of those in the lab. All right, so our first step here is to start with a balanced equation. And so we have HCl plus NaOH yields H2O and NaCl, and I've already written it out and balanced it, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, uh, that is the first thing that you would do. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. We have 25 milliliters of HCl, okay, and we have an unknown volume, I'm uh, sorry, an unknown uh, molarity. And then we have our NaOH, and we know what we have for sodium hydroxide. We have 24.16 milliliters of sodium hydroxide, and we have 0 0.106 molar sodium hydroxide. All right, now we we do the the di this um, neutralization actually in the same way that we would do dilution chemistry or do dilution mathematics because what we need to do is we need to get these to match. Okay, so we're going to use uh, an M1V1 equal to M2V2 just like we would use for uh, dilution. Okay, and that's for acid-base neutralization. Okay, and what we're actually looking at in this case is we're looking at the concentration of protons times the volume of our acid, okay, I'll say volume A for acid, is equal to the concentration of our hydroxide ions times the volume of our base. Okay. Now, in this case, we're dealing with HCl and NaOH. So there's one proton in HCl and one NaOH in HCl. So that means that our molarities of our compound is the same as our molarities of H plus and OH minus, okay? If we had diprotic or had more than one hydroxide, then we'd have to take that into account. Okay, so the concentration of our protons times our volume, 25 milliliters, is equal to our hydroxide concentration, which in this case is 0 0.106 molar, and the volume of our base, which is 24.16 milliliters. Okay, and now our H plus concentration then, our acid concentration, we find by saying 0 0.106 times 24.16 equals, okay, and then we divide by the 25 and we get an H plus or an acid concentration HCl of 0 0.10, see I can have three significant figures, so 0 0.102 molar. 